And we wrap it up on Wednesday night with a race number eight. And the last is over the 1800 metres. It is a class three. Tianchi Monster is on a class drop. All of his wins have been in this grade. Nearly fine back in trip from the 22 to the 1800 metres. Prime Minister goes beyond 1650 for the first time. Zach Burton's picked up the ride there. Savvy Kingman has won three times this distance. Comet Splendido carries 12 pounds less for that claim. Intrepid winner, a last start winner. He gets four more on his back for that win. Scape route is now. Wagner Borges replacing Antoine Hamlin and uh, further down we've got uh, Seaweed Fortune untried beyond 1650 but does carry a lightweight off that third behind Red Majesty Tom. And the speed in this race, uh, Lucky Diamond, uh, he can lead up. He didn't lead up uh, last time out. He ended up uh, three back uh, the fence. He didn't have a, a great deal of early pace. Savvy Kingman can be handy, but he's got to come across from uh, 12. But uh, has plenty of time to do that in the straight. And Comet Splendido, uh, Paul, might be a bit closer to them this time round, especially from that draw of one. Yeah, yeah, I think they'll try and use that draw. Intrepid winner, another last uh, winner, should be able to get a nice... Um a nice run. Prime Minister, uh, he's uh, he should be about midfield there, and Zach Purden will jump aboard him. Escape route, delightful Lau. What's going to happen to him at the start? That's think, the million dollar I think question. We know. <laughs> <laughs> Slow out's the best guess for delightful Lau <laughs> because that seems to be what he does, certainly of late. Now we're going to start with uh, Hugh Bowman. He takes the ride on Nilly Fine. This is Hugh with Nick. You, nearly fine, is uh, looking as if he might be the pick of your rides on Wednesday night. Comes into this uh, final race in, in excellent form for Casper Fouts. Nick, he does. Uh, I've got some nice rides on Wednesday night, and yeah, he does seem to be the best one. He's got excellent form this campaign. I like the fact he's back to the 1800 where he's had success at recently, and then it's close placing the other day over a bit further. But um, he obviously races very well at Happy Valley and. Uh, looking forward to riding him. Yeah, that form, as you alluded to, two back beating Comet Splendida, that's obviously been frank since. Um, I guess I must ask you here, obviously, gate 10, now we're racing on the, the C course, so, you know, he's a horse that does go back, so is it too much of an inconvenience, you think, being out there? Well, I guess what it, it's always better to draw in, we know that, so it goes without saying, but uh, look, we'll ride him where he's comfortable, and I guess at the end of the day, it's going to be dependent on how quick they go as to where exactly we settle down, so we'll work that out as we go. Obviously, the Casper Founds Association it was a fruitful one on the week. I think this is only your second ride for him, in fact, um, possibly. But um, two nice winners at Sha Tin. Obviously, that was that must have been quite pleasing for you. The first one absolutely bolted up. Yeah, well, he, he was good. I, when his form seemed a little bit wishy-washy, and when I when I got looking at his replays, I, I liked the fact that he was back to the thousand metres. And his last run at the thousand, I, I thought had a lot of merit. And I just thought, well, if I can just um, ease in behind him a little bit, he might go well. But I think he, I think he performed above expectation, regardless of that. And it was really nice to start the day off, and obviously finishing off uh, later on with a winner for Casper too. It was, yeah, it was a good afternoon. Yeah, he was a bit of a, a swashbuckling winner, that fellow. I mean, he sort of came from nowhere, but um, let down really strongly. Yes, he did. I, I must admit, when I went, when I straightened up, I thought that the race was beyond us. But I, I thought he. You know, I knew I was going to run top three, and as we closed in on the pack, I could sense that the two leaders were on empty, and uh, this horse, yeah, he jumped out of the green. It was really impressive. It was a massive win by Solar Winds. There's Hugh's thoughts on that horse and also Nelly Fine. He's comments that Tom on Nelly Fine warranted. How do you assess him in this race? I like that he's coming back to 1,800 metres as well. Uh, looked to have every chance, I thought, last uh, time out. He was only beaten half a length there over the, the 2,200 metres here behind to hit uh, the shot. So I think there's a, a lot of positives here, Paul. Yeah, definitely. He's one of the main dangers, uh, there's no doubt. And he's just been running really well this season as well. You know, two wins from his three starts and this one that we see. So 1,800 looks good for him. Good report for Nelly Fine. What about Comet Splendido? Uh, Paul, he's going to get a, a much needed weight relief here. He's racing well even with the higher weights and Delightful Lau, we've already mentioned the starts with him. Delightful Lau will win a race at some stage when he jumps but uh, I'm not sure when that's going to be. Comet Splendido, look, he's been very consistent. Uh, this horse gets the £10 claim. He's drawn nicely in barrier number one. So he goes in for me. He was right there over the, the final stages. Only two links here covering uh, 10 horses. Delightful Lau actually wasn't too far away there. That was him uh, first up for a, a wee while. So there was a bit of merit in the run, really. And he trolled well at uh, Happy Valley, but he missed the start in that trial as well. Did Delightful Lau. A few to uh, pick at uh, here. Tom in Trippett, winner looking for back-to-back -back victories. Insured, Savvy Kingman loves the trip, but has a wide draw and Lucky Diamond lightly tried in this grade. Yeah, we know that. Uh, savvy Kingman's got plenty of ability, course and distance, and he, he ranged up here like 
like I, he was going to win it, I thought, uh, last time out. Uh, came from worse than the midfield. It was quite a, a decent effort to, from him, but intrepid winner basically came from last ball. Yeah, it was a good win from him, wasn't it? I'm going to include um, Savvy Kingman, though. I, I just thought that uh, the horses would be a lot fitter from this run. He's a big horse, so he does take a couple of um, starts to get um, fit. Luke Ferraris rides him, and you're going to make a case for the monster pool. Yeah, look, I've been waiting for this horse to get up to 1,800 metres. He's won off this rating before. He's been downgraded. He comes into it, and if you fin watch this race, he finishes off fifth, and uh, the best part of this uh, race was the last sort of 50 metres. I thought he really attacked the line strongly. A horse, he's a big horse, so he, I'm not worried about the weight he has to carry. And in an open race, I think he could come up a decent price. You can see him in those green colours finishing off well. Yeah, he reared and missed the start as well, so there's plenty of merit in that. Two links covering the first 11 there, so it was a pretty good effort from him to come from back in the field. It was indeed. So selection, race eight, horse one. Yep, going to go with uh, Tianzi Monson. Nearly finds the main danger. So around the top of the market, or top of the book here, one to beat two. Savvy Kingman uh, with that run under his belt and Comet Splendido from Barrier one. One, two, four, five. Two and one, the uh, Quinella here, really like nearly fine, coming back uh, to a course and distance here for Casper Founds and Huey Bowman. Uh, TNG Monsters in, thought Insured's run was uh, big last uh, time out, and they certainly backed him uh, late uh, there behind, intrepid uh, winner. And the other one that uh, goes in is uh, Comet Splendid with the weight relief on his uh, back drawn barrier one. So two, one, ten and five. There you have it. That is a preview for Happy Valley on Wednesday night. Eight race programme. We'll see you for race number one at 7.15.